last year I bought a Mary Kate and Ashley book from America from a, a, an international seller on eBay and they sent me the wrong book by accident but I wasn't bothered because the book that they sent and I should say great seller gave me a refund no problems the book they gave me was um, Thorn Mansion from the adventures of Mary Kate and Ashley and it made me realize that I'd never seen those cartoons I mentioned this when I did my discussions about the You're Invited To series that I just, I never saw those as a child and I don't know if they were released in the UK on VHS at any point. Either way, I have decided that I will now watch them and catch up with them and that's something that I've, I've really thoroughly enjoyed doing with the You're Invited To series. And now I've moved on to The Adventures Of and for no reason, the one that I started with was The Case Of The Hotel Who Done It. This one was released in 1996, so there would have been about 9 or 10 at the time of recording. And I will say, the first thing you need to do before watching this is suspend disbelief. Because they cycle from, I believe, California to Hawaii in what they say is 15 minutes. On their own. So you need to suspend disbelief. But considering the whole series is about two pre-teens who go and solve crimes and mysteries... I think you need to go into this with an open mind either way. So in this episode, Mary Kate and Ashley, who won, who run the Olsen and Olsen Detective Agency, go to this hotel, uh, the Hilton Hawaiian Village Hotel, and they have to solve the mystery of items that keep going missing. Some of their high profile guests have objects that disappear. Nothing too expensive. There was a compact mirror and uh, a couple of other things I think a tie clip or something and they have to try and work out who's doing it and why they're doing it and solve the mystery save the day all before dinner time I will be honest I didn't work out what the problem was what the mystery was until about 30 seconds before they revealed what it was and that kind of surprised me because I thought it would be blatantly obvious. And I have to say, when I read the book as well, um, I, I didn't get what it was until it was revealed. So it kind of shames me as a seasoned thriller and crime reader and also crime writer whose livelihood and life is based around mysteries and crime that I didn't get it. And I feel a little bit ashamed and embarrassed. But it just makes it all the more interesting. I didn't expect there to be song and dance in this. I genuinely thought it would be straight up, you know, acting like um, the Two of a Kind series or So Little Time or whatever. But actually, I, I kind of like it when they break the fourth wall and sing to the audience. The songs themselves are pretty interesting. Uh, they're nothing fabulous, but they're good fun. They're age appropriate. And... I like seeing Clue. Clue is their beautiful, beautiful dog. Their, um, the uh, Basset Hound, very traditional kind of Sherlock's, Sherlock Holmes sidekick. And it starts off with this song about doing a project about Japan and then the dog eating their homework. It's all quite peculiar, but I really like it. And it's quite, you know, quite good fun. And then we get some songs on location where they're wearing slightly more Hawaii appropriate outfits. And yeah, it's, it's fun. It's not to be taken seriously. Absolutely not. But if you like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen and you miss this as a child, I think you'll get a kick out of it. It's cheesy. It's completely unrealistic. But it's adorable. And I, growing up, I wanted to be a journalist, an investigative journalist, reporter. Um, my writing took me in other ways, but had I watched this as a young child, it absolutely would have spurred on that desire to report on problems and maybe even solve them. It definitely would have spoken to me. I absolutely adored it. I'm looking forward to watching the rest in the series. It's quite different from the You're Invited To series that I've just finished watching. And I think there are 11 episodes in this. So there are a lot of good things to come, I hope. Really looking forward to it. As long as you don't take it seriously and just have fun with it, I think you'll enjoy it too.